I'm no, I'm not going to use my mouth. It's cheating. Oh no, I've got it stuck in the in the glove. <laughs> it won't come out. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. I nearly dropped it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I thought it'd be a really cool idea. I've seen loads of challenges. I've seen like people talking about like the small hands challenge and things like that. And I thought, well, what's relevant for this time of year? And I thought mittens makeup with mittens so that's what we're going to do today now i don't know if i've just created a trend i don't know if this is already a thing i didn't look because in my mind i want to be the creator of the trend i challenge you all to do this if you are a youtuber if you are a makeup artist whoever you are i challenge you to do the makeup with mittens challenge i brought these especially for this video <laughs> these are my lovely primark mittens my hands look massive and this oh Hey! The first thing I'm going to do is prime my face and I'm taking the Revolution Pro Goddess Glow Primer. Now obviously I can't put this on my hand so I'm going to keep my hands up here so you guys can see the struggle because otherwise you're not really... Okay, I'm, I'm trying to use the pump without... Oh, I got it on the mitten! This is going to be a lot harder than I actually thought. Okay, I don't know where that primer just went, but my brush ate it. It literally just disappeared. Okay. My hands are really hot. Okay. Uh, right. I've got I've got this now. I've got this. Okay. So this is actually one of my favourite revolution primers. This is the Pro one and it just gives you a nice glow to the skin. So the next thing I'm going to do is foundation. So I've been a bit smart because I thought we're not gonna be able to use pump so what i ended up doing was i'm gonna take my revolution again this is my conceal and define full coverage because it's got one of these so i'm making it a little bit easier for me okay don't be mad but you know again we wouldn't have been able to put it on to the mint i just put that straight on my nose okay i'm gonna take that's the, yeah my my beauty blender really hard to hold because it just wants to slip out of your hand oh i got foundation all over the mitten yeah so if you are going to do this don't do this with like a pair of mittens that you plan on keeping or a pair of mittens that you really like maybe maybe do it with like a pair of mittens that you're happy to just put in the wash or something like that because this is gonna get messy oh my god i'm really struggling to use this <laughs> It just keeps slipping. Okay, that was a struggle. I've ended up actually using the mitten to, to rub the foundation in <laughs> by accident as well. And it's really hard to get under your eyes without poking yourself. Okay, that bit's done. Whew, I'm sweating. It's hot. One thing these mittens are good for, airing you off. We're gonna do eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my normal combination because I don't really like to be I extravagant with eyebrows and adventurous. So I'm gonna take my Rimmel London eyebrow pencil just to do the outline right. It's more like holding the tools that's quite hard. Once you've got a grip, it's not that bad, but it is actually just, and you, <laughs> You don't, you definitely don't have as much of a grip as you'd obviously normally have. So it makes it a little tricky. Oh, oh, okay. And my nails keep like poking through as well. I've managed to get a brow semi on. I'm not gonna use my other brow pencil cause it's, it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of effort really. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeshadow primer. So I've got the Revolution prime and lock which hasn't been opened so let me open this real quick i haven't tried this yet this is a new product um if you've watched some of my other videos you'd have seen me moaning because i don't have an eyeshadow primer so i went and got this one like i say it's not too bad because once you've got a grip obviously like you use your thumb to hold the brushes anyway don't you so once you've got a grip it's not really a lot different I thought it was gonna be a bit, I mean, obviously you have to hold the brush a little, like I wouldn't normally hold the brush quite like that. You're getting done tomorrow, just behave. Eyeshadow, so I'm taking this palette here. This is the Revolution Life on the Dance Floor palette. You can see there's a lot of Revolution products in this. Now the problem is getting it open with mittens. <laughs> ah! I just jabbed myself in the ribs with it. 
Oh, I opened it and I closed it again. Oh, 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 I did it. So this is the palette. I love it. It's got the most gorgeous color. I'm gonna take a flat brush. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not gonna use my mouth, that's cheating. Oh no, I've got it stuck in the, in the glove. <laughs> it won't come out. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Now it's falling on the floor. There we go. So I'm going to take this peachy colour here. I'm just going to do something quite quick and simple because I don't want, it. I don't want you guys to be, be here for four days waiting for me to pick up all these brushes. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with my... Oh, what colour? We've got to use a bright colour, haven't we? Let's use this colour here. We've got to. We can't not. It'd be rude, wouldn't it? It'd be rude not to. You can't blend as well because the end of the brush gets stuck in the mitten. So like I'm trying to blend, but it's, I haven't got the right, there's too much pressure on the brush, if that makes sense. I'm gonna take this purple. We will use the palette to help us, right? So yeah, with, with eyeshadows, I'm finding that the hardest at the moment because you definitely don't, you can't, hold the brush correctly so it's really hard really pop it in that outer crease and then what I'm going to do is take the slightly lighter purple and just use that um, as a tool to blend because our blending just ain't on form right now it's not it's not on par as it would normally be oh crap yeah see I've just completely messed that up completely that weren't what was meant to happen but it's happened now so we're gonna have to try and fix it or not at all i'm not really sure we'll figure it out guys we'll figure it out basically what's happened is is it's just not blending because my i can't get the grip on it these colors are gorgeous i'm not going to shut that palette because i know once i shut that palette i'm probably not getting that palette back open so i'm not going to shut it so so concealer we're going to try and tidy up these under eyes a little bit so I'm taking my Superstay again just because it has a wand. Makes it a little bit easier, I guess. Not even easier, but just... I, I don't... Even though I'm probably not going to keep these mittens because they're just not very good anyway. I don't really want to, like, purposely make a mess. Little little sponge again. Oh, no. Not that side. That could be dangerous. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Stick Foundation just to try and add a little bit of coverage. Has everyone done their Christmas shopping yet? I was really organized this year. Like I genuinely leave it till last minute and I wasn't this year. I actually got it done because basically my Christmas is a little bit crazy. I'm basically getting some face treatment done. You'll see what and what's going on. Um, but I'm getting that done in between Christmas and New Year. I'm also getting hair done. So we're gonna change the hair up a little bit because I'm a little bit bored. I've got some orange going on and things like that, which I've noticed. So we're just changing it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be crazy. So I just wanted to get everything done and dusted and just finished. So I'm gonna set. So I'm taking the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Powder. I'm gonna use this on my face, obviously, because where else would you use it? Woo! Oh my God, I nearly dropped it. I nearly dropped it. That would have gone everywhere. That would have been an absolute bloody nightmare. I'm just gonna try and... Right, okay. I'm gonna take my Fit Me by Maybelline powder again if I can get this open. Oh, oh, my hands are really warm though, guys. Seriously. I think this is how Eskimos do their makeup. Right? Joke of the century. So, I'm gonna try and do the under eye now. I'm gonna again just take this palette and I'm gonna take this metallic purple because it's just gorgeous. Like, I can't just, I can't not use it because it's just looking at me. Here we go, guys. Here we go. You can tell when I need my lashes doing because they grow out and as I'm trying to actually do... I apologise for my phone. 
as I'm actually trying to do my makeup. It, like they're, they're just flopping about everywhere. They drive me mental. So I'm gonna use mascara. Now again, I've gone for a different mascara today. I know you guys are probably really shocked, but I'm using the Rimmel Extreme Black Volume. This to me is like old school mascara. I used to use this in school. I thought, thought we'd try, right, let's do this eye first. Cause this eye I feel like is gonna be easier. Does anyone else automatically open their mouth when they're putting mascara on? I still do that. Okay, so I'm gonna contour. I'm going to be using my CYO contour. That opened easily. See, that one worked for me. So we'll try this. Okay, let's just get a contour going. I really like this contour powder because it's a really nice color. For my highlight, I've got the Goddess of Love Highlight Powder. This is a triple baked highlighter from Revolution. And it looks a little bit like this. I've actually only used this twice and I can't remember why. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try it again. I literally feel like a crab or like a lobster or something like that. Trying to do my makeup. Yeah, I don't know why I've only used this twice because this is a sick highlight. A sick highlight it's almost um got a little tone so it's, it is like a white based highlight but it's also got a little tone of like not pink i don't want to say pink do you guys know what i mean like it, it has got that um fluorescent sort of tone so to me this highlighter would look different in every single light but it's very pretty i do like it right we're nearly done lips so for lips what did I get? Oh, I've got a Barry M lip liner. This is in the shade. This is in this shade. It's a nude color. I think this is nude because it's really sharp. And I, I'm a nightmare. I never sharpen anything. Oh my God. Again, I'm just struggling to get the angle. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a bit of me that. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my e.l.f. in Runaway Pink. This is one of their lipsticks. Keep keeping to the pink theme <laughs> we're done with you okay and then i'm taking my shake and glow by l'oreal this is my new favorite setting spray i'm obsessed the good thing is the mitten works amazingly to actually set that on your face so win-win okay guys so this is the finished look now the mittens did not really survive there's a bit of a hole going on at the top there's a lot of foundation happening. They didn't really survive. The makeup, I'm just gonna get my actual close up going on. Okay. The contour is definitely not as blended as normal. The lips actually came out okay. The eyeshadow is not bad, but you can definitely see there's a lack of blending going on. And this eyeshadow comes up a lot higher than this one. The brows are a little bit all over the place. There's some dark spots, some light spots. Yeah, so I don't really know. I mean, to be honest, it definitely didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was going to. So I guess that's a good thing. So let me guys know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.